Are you going to be on the beach? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I can't even drink hot drinks at night. Where Abby, are you? Uh, oh. uh, I think she's probably hungry at the moment, which is why she's... <laughs> she's it's amazing to see food. one so uh, up close. Yeah. Wow, this is, they uh, this do is bite amazing. They do don't they? Hello everybody, Wayson's World. Today we are at the lovely Dalian. We've come with the lovely Karen Azir. And look, today we are in the... A team. You guys remember BA Barakas? You remember the A team? We're on the A team vehicle today. This is a classic. I love it. I love this car. We've got the lovely Emma Han with us. We're with the crew. Sun is shining. What's the temperature today? 18, 19. 18, 19. I'm in a vest. I've got the vest on. Shorts. Don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so here we are. We're in Dalian. Now Dalian sits on the, the Dalian River. It's about 23 kilometers away from Dalaman Airport. Um, it's home to the loggerhead turtles. Over to the left there, you've got the Lichian tombs or the Fetier tombs. Mahaba. Eve, send us a sin. Gazelle. <laughs> So, you know, um, you've got the loggerhead turtles here um, and it's home to the... How do you say the beach? How do you say the name of the beach, Emma Han? Turtle Beach. Huh? Turtle Beach. Turtle Beach. Uh, no. Is to zoo. So the loggerhead turtles, um, they're huge. Um, there's, a Turkish, there's, a, there's a Turkish name for the, the turtles. I can't remember it, so I will put it down below. So check below. Um, but what's happening is as tourism comes into the area and they're building hotels um i don't even know if i need this i will carry it i'll carry it you know there, there there is a there's you know tourism uh people coming to the beaches and because of that obviously loggerhead turtles they're trying to reproduce once they reproduce their turtles are trying to get into the to the sea and it's, it's not really happening guys this is it this is dalian Uh, we've got the famous Chinatown here, lovely restaurant. Not only for Chinese food, but for Indian food. And there's my friend, let's go say hello. My friend, my friend. Uh, I love my friend here. <laughs> hello, how are you doing, man? How good to see you, good who is there? YouTube, YouTube. Oh, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube man. YouTube, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we will come and definitely eat. This is the place to go, yes, Chinatown, yeah, guys. Man. Yeah, man. Chinatown. Hello, hello. So, I'm alright, what are you okay? Good to see you. Good man. Yeah, yeah. Like you man. Lovely That's restaurant. Cooper. Look, look, my Cooper. Oh, look at Cooper. Cooper. Cooper. Cooper. Cooper. Cooper. Cooper. Cooper. Cooper. Cooper. Cooper. Cooper. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yes, amazing, amazing. Okay, <laughs> you look so yeah? well. Yeah. I mean, uh, he got a little bit of accident the three days ago. Oh. The, the some dog, they fight. Oh. He got a little bit of accident, he's going better now. Oh. Because how old is Cooper now? He must seven be years seven now. years. Uh, yes. uh, yes. And he, <laughs> he put sunglasses on him, bless him. Uh -huh. <laughs> on the scooter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Cooper. Lovely. And lots of tourism. Just slowly, gonna pick you coming. pick up now, yeah. because you know, uh, just decorating design and then for a month. Just slowly, you know, some slowly. people living here as well, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's going better now, it's gonna pick you up. So what are you seeing a lot of? A lot of more yes, English? Yes, every week is going more English people. More yeah. English? Yeah, just course. English? Just English now. Just English, just that's English. That's enough, I think, at the moment. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> so no, the, the place looks fantastic. It is the last location also this year. No, perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's going better now. Yeah. Perfect. It's the top on the list here yeah, now. You see that? They do pick yeah. up service yeah, down here. They'll do. come to Dalaman, pick us up. Yes. We can eat and drink. Yes. And they'll drop us back. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All the best. So, My but friend. we will come. We will My come. Friend. Lovely to see you, man. You Lovely. Well, man. Always smiling, this man. <laughs> see you soon, right? Thank you, see you later, Cooper. See you later, Cooper. <laughs> so, there we go, guys. Let's keep cracking on. So, you can see over there, you know, all the lovely, um, the boats waiting to take uh, tourists away to either the, the Turtle Beach or like I say to the ancient city of Kunas. 
Deli, Deli. Deli. Carrot. Deli. Calling me carrot. <laughs> you know wrong that. color, wrong sex. <laughs> So here's all the little boats so you can take your boat ride as well yeah. to the mud bath. Right, yeah, onto the beach. Onto the beach. So we're here at our little taxi place. I see you know, this man have here, boat driver. Oh, okay. He said, you know, you want one, two hours, you know, here. This one, go yeah. out, you know, here, show you know, here, play. So yeah, so waste as well, the full effect. Hey, so there's Tracy, looking uh, very gorgeous today, I'm going to have to say. Well done, wife. Well done. Check that yeah. out, <laughs> eh? And then we've got the Amari. Very dappish, very nice. And there's a beautiful Kaz. And Kaz, can we ask you, I think the viewers are going to want to know, when you cough, does your groin still hurt? Uh, my leg does, yes. Oh, OK. <laughs> We're not going to laugh this time. So look at all these lovely boats, I mean look at the inside of these boats and that's what I like. Emmy, can you can you tell us, you know, and you and Amari tell us a little bit of of Ataturk and you know Ataturk. why he's such a great father of Turkey? Because he's so good to know leader, you know he's so smart and he's going to uh, future, future, future, future. Like, uh, you know this one and he uh, write uh, and learning you know this new turkish new turkish yeah did you know right he he he liberated turkey yeah, normally, and made turkey independent yeah now when when did turkey become independent independent uh, 23 23 yeah and uh, and and that was against the ottoman empire ottoman empire you know going to 23 yeah 23 1923 yeah. so and this man you know Stood up yeah. because he wasn't Turkish, was he? he was uh, he is Greek, wasn't he? Greece, born in Greece, born in Greece. No, because you know, before Ottoman Empire, you know, yes. in Greece, you okay. know, Turkish. Yes. So Greece was obviously, yes. uh, was a part of Turkey, Turkey at the time. Yes. Okay, so there you go, explanation from um, you he, know. he died uh, 53, 57 years old, know, 53, I don't know, 57 years. you know, 38. So, but he's an amazing figure and probably one of the most important people here at Turkey, right? Yes, yeah, so important man. Yeah. So, and everywhere you go around Turkey, you're going to see pictures Atatürk. of, of Kemal Ataturk. Yeah. And normally, he named uh, Mustafa, not him normally, Kemal. Just Mustafa Ataturk. Yeah, Atatürk. Mustafa. Like, you know, teacher, math, math teacher, give it the Kemal name. Okay. Like, and what does, Ke what does Kemal mean? Kemal mean nothing, just name. Just name? Yeah. Okay. So we had a little bit of an explanation there, guys. Uh, he's very celebrated. Everywhere you go in Turkey, uh, you're going to see pictures of him. I mean, when I say anywhere, I mean any business, any office, you're going to see a picture, any school. Um, and what I like about the Turkish is they're so respectful when they... I, I, we walked past the school and they went to do the national anthem and everybody in the street stopped to respect the national anthem and that is something you don't see in many countries. <laughs> Where <Right>. is the stop? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Z. <laughs> I'm going to test Z's patience today with all of this I'm sure. <laughs> so here we are, this is Dayan. So down there you can see the, the start of where the, sh the, the this little stretch of street stops uh, starts even um, and lots of you know store orders um, both left and right so shoes here uh, far tech shop here um, lots of shoes so they've got everything for everybody here guys restaurants here's a gift shop Denise gift shop uh, what does Deniz mean, Amari? What does Deniz mean? Deniz? Yes. Uh, ocean. Ocean. Look, Amari. Amari, we've got a picture of Amari here. Amari, please go take a picture. Please, Amari. <laughs> you touch it? You touch it? Uh, no, no. 
I love it. Ah, tashikala, tashikala, Olu. Mahaba. Right. So. So you know, come with us, guys. Let's explore Dalian together. Um, you know, go get yourselves a cup of tea. Um, buckle in because today we're going to take you out on a ride. Um, and look at these lovely buildings, guys. Just check, check, check that out. Daddy, daddy. Daddy. This is what you like. And, and we talk, guys, <laughs> about <laughs> the loggerhead turtle. I mean, you know, we're going to try and show you one live, but this is pretty much um, what they look like. You can see no, it's they're not that huge. One. That's a normal turtle. And these are what, what's trying to be protected. You know, they lay their yeah. eggs. Eggs That's no a normal protein. turtle. That um, and look, May and June. Hey, May, July. So explain this to us then, um, Emma. So this is May and July they do their <laughs> nesting. Down Two down. months um, for the incubation. Yeah, they let, look, this one's so funny, man. Yep. You know, I watch it, you know, this one made Jiggy Jiggy Turtle. <laughs> you hear some? Jiggy Jiggy Turtle, okay. Yeah. You hear some? <laughs> you're you're like kidding that. me. Yeah. No I, I watch it like this before. We have to find that. I'm yeah. going to find that on the, on the, on the internet. Normal, you normal turtle. You know, like his son. Normal really? Turtle. Yeah, I, I see you know here. So where does it start? Where, where's the beginning of this? Yeah. I don't think it is. No, no, no I think beginning. I think the beginning is here. Beginning here. Yeah, so. this one, this one, oh, yeah. fooding. Move so the, move into the foraging grounds. Yeah, you know, this one, search for food. And this one, you know, found, you know, boy found, and found female. Yeah, so partner. the breeding, migration, so that's like April, May. Yeah. Um, and, and then May, July, there's one, eggs being eggs, produced. Lighter come up, incubation. Lighter and then. So the hatching. 25 to 20, 25 to 30 years. No bigger. You know, leaves. I leaves. Yeah. So, so that leaves. runs reach section one. And, and that is it, log head turtle. So we're going to try and take you to in on the Is to Zoo beach. Have I said that correctly? Huh? Is to zoo. Is to zoo, yeah. On the Is to zoo beach, there is a, a conservation for these turtles, so we're gonna see if we can take you guys there. So I know Z is gonna. I'm gonna get on Z's there. Where's Z? Yeah. <laughs> I'll meet you there. I'll meet you on the beach. You're gonna meet me on the beach. <laughs> Where's Z? Where's Z? There. <laughs> There's brothers. So here we are, we're in a nice shop here, and it's a really lovely shop. It's got some really nice things. This is good. Oh, shoes. Really nice. Oh, the Jack Wolf estate. And like I say, guys, you know. Get him, get him, get him, quick, quick, quick. Turkey are so the, the Turkish people are so good uh, in their textiles and, you know, when they're making stuff, honestly. Mommy, what am I? How big are you? My feet. Honestly. Yeah. It's about five. Five, okay. Isn't it? Yeah. I think not three. No, no, they're, they're not, but they're very, uh, very good imitations. Hush Hush Bulldog. Good, good, good, um, very nice. You see me? There's ZZ's like, come on down, stop, well, hurry up. <laughs> we saw one top for you, Z, though. We did see a nice yeah, t shirt. Yeah, yeah. You're very hungry. Let's go get something to eat. I remember a five. Yeah. Uh, I'm not normal. <laughs> <laughs> let's go get something to eat. Let's have to come back to the shop. Yeah, let's, let Z's hungry. Let's go get some foods. <laughs> Yeah, let's eat and then let's eat and then we can play. So Z just asked how much this this shoe was. Yedi use. Yedi use two hundred. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. So I think that's a tourist <laughs> price. <laughs> so much expensive, very expensive. So much, so much expensive, yeah. And that's the problem because we're in a tourist area, um, things are going to be so much more um, money. So, and that's one thing we love about Dalaman. <laughs> 
so you can see guys there's uh there's everything for everybody <coughs> nice uh, dresses here Mahaba. Mahaba. Mahaba. Here we are, we're at a waffle store. Unfortunately, the weather doesn't indicate, so, you know, things are still closed. Um, not everything's open here. Um, but right across, how, how cool is this? It's a school. Um, so right in the middle of a tourist area, uh, there is a school. So that's quite fantastic. Some people over there just enjoying their time. A little booty cat. Yeah. We're, we're here now, not too much tourism. Tourism just opened up, and this is why it was a good opportunity to bring you guys down here before it gets too busy. As you can see, not everything's open. This is, it seems like a nice little um, thrift shop, some nice little masks. So, um, you know, if you guys are liking what you're seeing, you know, give us a like. Give your boy a little bit of love. You know, subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. Again, we talked about Mr. Fur. Again, we've got another picture of him here. This is a very nice illustration uh, so you know this is this is what what it's all about guys lots of uh, Turkish and a lot of the stuff is gonna be handmade um, and that's the beauty of it you know you got your silvers some really nice lovely colors and stones um, so this is what it's about this is what you're gonna get when you come to these type of areas and these type of tourists tourism here in Turkey all right let's see what you see some road works going on here. <laughs> They're trying to make some improvements, which is all right. So again, like I said, you know, ice cream, Don Durham is a Turkish word. Still closed, JD's full. <laughs> Günaydın. Günaydın. Asasın. İyiyim. Sen asasın? Ben de iyiyim. Ah, good. Ah, teşekkürler. Dalaman, Dalamanda. <laughs> Hair's blocked off. We've got to we've got to walk quite quickly because I can tell you my man Z at front is uh he's hungry. So let's get ourselves something to eat. I don't know what we're gonna eat. Rock bar. Eminem rock bar. Eminem rock bar. Eminem. M M M. Yeah. So you got some lovely um hotels here. You know, right on the, the riverfront. Yeah, yes. the Dalian area there. Yeah, so Dalian, you know, Dalian is a really lovely area. I mean, you know, when we first came to Turkey, <laughs> we were actually looking at Dalian yeah. as a place to, Better than to reside. But the only reason we decided against it was two factors. I mean, Dalian is a lot cheaper than Dalian is the first factor. Mm -hmm. And the second factor is, you know, Dali, Dalaman, Dali. it's a working town. So it's yeah. open 24 seven where Dalian closes for the winter, which, um, which will be too quiet for us. Oh yeah, I no, I But I am happy, you know, this one daily coming to Dalaman because <laughs> he not going coming to Dalaman. We don't leak. Yeah. Yes, agreed, agreed. So, you know, so no, um, but if people want to come, um, you know, I still say Dalaman is a top destination, even though it's probably not 
the best for tourists. Dali and you know, yeah, you've got something for every everybody here. But uh, Dalaman more relaxed and comfortable. Dalaman more relaxed and they come to more. Yeah, um, right. yeah Dali and as soon as we got out of the car, I mean, literally, guys, I need to tell you this. As soon as we got out of the car, literally, we parked up, we got out of Zia's car, and somebody's trying to get us to go on a boat. And that's the problem when you go into tourist areas. Uh, people want your trade, and they're going to bid for it. <laughs> Just now, the one million people, they follow me. <laughs> follow Z. <laughs> yeah. And you got this guy up here, he's cool, he's chilling. <laughs> Enjoying oh, this time. Yes. yes. So here we go, we've got some people here about to enjoy their time on a boat trip. It looks lovely. Um, <laughs> and, you know, there's lots of pretty restaurants, people just enjoying their time as you can see here. And having their breakfast or a cup of tea or what have you. Um, so it's just lovely guys. Yeah. It is nice. Hello. Oh yeah, you're right. Not bad, how are you? Okay, enjoying your time? Yeah. Yeah, right. very good, thank you. I'll meet you on the beach. Yeah, oh, that's right, yeah, we're gonna go on the beach and go to the turtle <laughs> co conservation. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later, enjoy your time. How are you? And look at this, I mean, the Turkish people, they're so considerate of nature. Yeah, this is a beautiful mosque. So here we got, we've got a little kids park right next to the restaurant. Here is a, is this the council? What is this here, Emmerhan? What's this building here? Um, uh, you know, for the government. Government building, okay. What do they do there? What type of stuff do they do there? I can meet you. Okay, okay. So, you know, you got people here just enjoying their time, eating their food, a little park here, which is quite, uh, quite useful for the, for the chujukla, <laughs> children, kids. Some more fish being okay. sold here. Mahaba. Right, we're going to get back into the BA Barracas car. But guys, what a backdrop to a restaurant, right? Just makes me uh, feel so small when I see something so big. It's just amazing. So, so Z's ordered us uh, the, the gorgeous Z over there. He's ordered us uh, some traditional Turkish food. I don't even know what really I'm having. I know I'm having men and men. Look at this. I'm actually going to stand up. <laughs> wow. I, I can't drink coffee at night. I can't even drink hot drinks at night. Abby, uh, okay. Abby. We've got all of this food that Zia has ordered for us. So Zia's ordered uh, some traditional food. So many men. Many men. <laughs> Dylan, uh, I show light to you this one black guys. Bruh. You know this one eating you know many men. Ready. Like you know playing so many men. Abi buri internet ne? Oh some tomatoes. Gölbaşı. Gölbaşı. Okay. Gölbaşı yani. Türkçe so the restaurant are there. Gölbaşı 4848. Kök sekiz, kök sekiz. Mm. So what are these called Z again? Bore. Yeah, those are lovely. Just 
cheese rolls. Cheese rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Just a cheese roll. <laughs> I love those. I love them. So so I love them. So so I love them. So cigar berry. Cigar, cigar berry. Yeah, I have them at school. Are we need a girl? Bussy, bussy. So cigar berry berry. Girl bussy. And you know, and this is just you know, this is just little Turkish. You got oh, the bread there, ekmek. Uh, the Turkish word. Some lovely uh, cucumbers, and I think that is. No, this one of mine, okay. Butter. This one of mine, okay. Okay, all them. That's the many men. Uh, I think this is some goat cheese mixed with chilies. See? I don't know chili maybe. And I tell you what is interesting is what's over there by Karen. I have no idea what that is. I think it's that peanut stuff. So that's really interesting. So I'll just peanut get a yeah. look. Oh, okay. Bu bu ne bir şey şey şey şey şey that's our waiter hooking us up. Peanut. Yeah. Yeah, it's so that is peanut, is it? Peanut, yeah. no peanut. No peanut. No peanut. Sesame seeds crema. Oh, sesame ah. seeds. Um, sesame seeds crema. Okay. Um, okay, enjoy. What's that called? Sıcak sıcak. Peanut. Peanut. Peanut. Peanut. Peanut. Peanut. Peanut. Peanut. Peanut. Peanut. Peanut. Peanut. Peanut. Peanut. Oh, so it, and it just keeps coming. Uh huh. It just keeps coming. So she did. So she what did you just have, Abraham? What did you have? You know, pancakes and cream. Cream, okay. Mm. You've got the, uh, mm. some, some butter. Yeah. Tea's hooking up with yeah. some yeah. menamen. Just check us, like normal yeah. cheese. Yeah. And mine's just getting okay. straight into the bread. And then pancakes. You guys know, you guys know already about the Turkish bread. Turkish bread is so nice. So Tracy's just loading up my, my plate and I'm going to get over there to Z. Oh, here's. Thank you so much. Emily, thank you. That's nice. So, there's this uh, this sesame seed which has a name to it. It's just escaped me. I'll remember it in a minute. So I'm just fighting with it a little bit. So there you guys go. Let's have a go and see what it's like. Oh my gosh. Mmm. That is sweet. And you know it's sesame. But it doesn't taste like that. Does it? It tastes really sweet. It's got a real sweet taste. Um, I can't taste sesame seeds at all. Really interesting. And the food just keeps coming. <laughs> Wow. Yumurta geldi. Ah. Yumurta. Oh. Yumurta. Yumurta. Mm -hmm. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Çıktı. Peppers, Peppers and onion. I, onion, and if I can remember, Z, the tomatoes, the eggs cooked in the tomatoes, tomatoes first. You know, the onion first, peppers, and just the tomatoes, last, you know, the eggs. Wow. And it's a real Turkish, uh, traditional Turkish meal. Let me tell you what this is like. All right, that is banging. Try some of the goat cheese and... Um, I think that's spring onion. Mm. That's not spring onion, is it? That's um. Not um. Madonna's, Madonna's, Madonna's, Madonna's, which is uh, which is parsley. Hmm. Mm. Those sausages, spicy, aren't they? Myself a sandwich. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a little. Um, here's my knife. 
A little bit of this. Chili. Chili. Oh, that looks hot. hot. So this yeah. is chili. So guys, have a look at this chili. I'm gonna have a little bit of it. And I like heat, because so I'm gonna tell you on my radar what that's like. Spicy? No. No. <laughs> no, it's got a little ting to it, but um, nothing that I don't think anyone here will be able to handle, even I might be able to handle that. And I don't know what this is. This is olive oil. Mm -hmm. What's this, the olive oil and um, oh. you know what that is? You know, oh, it's like oregano. Olive oil, cake cake. Yeah. Cake cake. Cake cake. Cake cake, cake, which is a uh, thyme, thyme, cake cake. Thyme, thyme. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is really good. That is good. That is really good. Wow. So, olive oil and cake cake, which is thyme. Okay, what's this you're giving me, T? Peppers. Peppers. I'll tell you what, the Turkish have a way of presenting food mm -hmm. that uh, vegetables and stuff like that that make you want to eat it. It's very, uh, very attractively no, that's displayed. Not, that's nice, not hot. Not hot. Mm -mm. Uh oh, Ziz. That's nice. So I'm going to get into the to the bore right now. Mm. Give you light and So nice. And you can see the cheese inside. Um, and it's just like a nice feed or pastry. You can see the flakiness inside. Um, and inside there is a, I think it's goat cheese. Very nice. Just cheese. Mm. Okay. Well guys, look. There's so much food here, so we're gonna go ahead and eat. And we'll, we'll catch you guys in a minute. Hmm. I've got to show this off, guys. Where is it? <laughs> you uh, more clothes? <laughs> yeah, more clothes. Get you more. said. <laughs> yeah, um, it's like a pomegranate and honey and one stop, no sweet and really interesting in, in, in, um, let's see what it tastes like pigments no black no so sweet yeah I know. inside you know like this stuff in you mix ah, it nice. that is an experience i'm telling you um the pomegranates have their own strong flavor anyway they mix them with the with the honey it's going to change the way i think every time i eat honey uh, pomegranate from that one art may i and this is a gazelle. Yeah. And what? Uh, for sale? For sale? Okay. So there we guys go. We are fed. We are super full. Um, so that was the Gobashi restaurant. Eh? I'll put the um, the address and all the details in the description. check out some loggerhead turtles but just look at this i want to just show you this guys check out that backdrop is that a thumbnail or what thumbnail time so let's go see what we see and, and what a lovely backdrop I, I i know i keep saying that a lot of my videos i keep talking about the backdrop but check it out guys it, it just it, it, you know it makes me feel so small such like a minute speck on this beautiful globe that we call our our earth when I see nature like that honestly so fantastic and you know so there is two zoo beach uh, Pillage, Pillage style for beach
Captain June's heart. <coughs> Die lebt sogar immer noch mal, glaube ich. Da schieben wir das auf ein bisschen besser. Yeah? So, thank you, Mari. Mari's already explained to you guys that this is Captain June's hut. Uh, June Hainworth. Uh, I believe her name is. Um, and she spent 25 years battling um, against the protection of the loggerhead turtles, the karata. And Karen was saying she would come out of her chair and, and, and make sure that they're all protected and okay. nobody would uh, do anything. And, and she was awarded an MBE and in 1980, um, I think it was, an MBE, which is um, a high award that you get from the Queen. Um, but in 1980, she was able to fend off uh, a major hotel being built right here on the Dalian Beach, on, on, on the it's, it's to Zoo Beach. So that was one of her major accomplishments. Um, so, you know, from what I can understand, remarkable lady. So there you go, there's one of the biggest problems there. Don't feed sea turtles by hand. And you know, a lot of people that that's unfortunately information that doesn't really get too many other people, and, and they they go ahead and feed uh, feed the turtles by hand, which is a no no. So hopefully we're going to see one of these guys. And this is a sanctuary that they get a lot of the injured turtles, and they basically bring them back to health. And these are eggs, and up here you can see uh, little hatchlings. So you can see that's uh, pretty much in the infancy um, state. Uh, earlier, here I come. In Izmir, May 2016, he had a head injury and the brain was visible. So, I mean, these guys, unfortunately, these guys are up against a fight because not only are they these not only the are their homes being invaded, that, that, that you know that causes problems. So this is all the waste, right, T? It's all waste, caps, I whistle, toys, plastic, plastic fragments from the digestive systems of the sea turtles. And I tell you what, I have heard. This is like from the line. A line. Fishing, line, yeah. fishing lines. You've got hooks here. Fishing hooks. And I tell you what, I'm surprised not to see there, ladies. Straws, because I've Straws, seen them being yeah. pulled straight out of. Uh, one of these turtles' noses. Yeah. It's absolutely. People, we just need to protect our environment. We do. Wow. Oh, you see that one up there? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and these are all like the, you know, uh, a little piece of all the little babies that would be trying to rush to get to the water, and the unfortunately, um, a small percentage of them make it. Because they're picked off by either predators, yeah, or they just can't get into the water because of uh, the tide. Oh, so here you can see they're doing some uh, some blood analysis of the sea turtles. Um, so the people here they really really do care. You know, you can see that they're, they're able to look at the blood cells and identify the different types of species. Amazing, isn't it? Uh, so it says here that the blood analysts are necessary to give a more accurate diagnose and determine uh, consequence consequent treatment and they can uh, they can see woman make. Woman do for the this one this is an intentional attack yeah ah. this one speed boat problem wow hook entanglement mm. over here fishing net entanglement it's really Look, awful serum and antibiotic illness give serum and drug delivery Really awful. Yeah, not nice, not nice. Guys, I'm going to talk low because these turtles are traumatized. So we're going to try and be quiet and give them some respect. Yeah. These guys uh, have, have all been injured or, or, you know, some type of trauma. All five of them have been hit by boats. Oh my gosh. So we've got two species here. Jatili here is a green turtle. So in the wild, green turtles eat seagrass or some seaweeds. 
But here, Chatilli eats uh, lettuce and cucumber. It's pretty hard to get hold of sea seagrass. <laughs> and you see Chatilli and a couple of the others in here. This part of her shell doesn't go beneath the water. So basically what's happened is what she's been hit on the head and then she's got gas trapped inside of her intestines. And it's from, when they get hit, they have a response to just dive out of the way to get away. And they either dive too quickly or they're not prepared to dive and they get gas trapped inside of them. So obviously if Chatili was out in the wild, she wouldn't be able to feed. Yeah. Because the seagrass lives at the bottom of the rock. So, so how how long will Chantil Chant? Am I saying Chantil, name? Chantil, yeah. Chantil, Chantil, Chantil, how long Chantil, will Chantilia be expected to stay with you guys? So it varies from turtle to turtle, but they have really slow metabolisms, so their recovery takes a long time. Whoa. It's the same reason why they live for so long, why they can stay underwater for so such a long period of time. Um, but their recovery, especially from an injury like this, takes years so you'll see with one of the other turtles that we have in here that's been in here for two years and she had this issue and she's now recovered no oh, fantastic i think you guys are doing a fantastic job do you, do you mind being on camera no i don't mind at all so how are you guys how are you guys funded i mean you i can hear you've got an english accent so i know you're not turkish no i'm english um, so money comes from donations from people who come visit from um big NGOs, charities who want to sponsor um, and then a lot of the money comes from the government and um, other organisations when we do scientific work so we collect lots of data and publish it for the help of conservation and obviously that when you do that it comes with grants and funds. Yeah. So this is Pamajak, she's a longer head turtle. So this is the species that breed here on the beach. So loggerheads, unlike the um, green turtles, are carnivorous. So they eat small fish, um, crabs, little squids. But a big portion of their diet is jellyfish, which is where the conflict of plastic pollution. Oh, okay, which is, yeah, a huge problem. Yeah, big problem. So that's probably along with the boats that and being hit by boats is probably the those two, those are the two big causes of injuries floating piece of plastic looks an awful lot like a jellyfish yes yes um, and sea turtles are primarily visual hunters so it's not like they can smell or you know, like sharks can electro navigate the sea turtles see things she's just in like a resting state her issue again is that she floats Okay, we've got one that seems a little bit more active. Hello. Yeah, this is Hayal. Hello, Hayal. So when Hayal came to us, she floated oh, wow. as well. Again, a female. All females, are they? Yeah, all four of these. Are. So females are more often brought to us because they spend more time around the coast for breeding. Sure, of course. So all of the adults generally spend most of their time around the coast. Females spend longer near the coast because okay. they have to come up onto the beach to nest. But you see how Hayal moves quite easily up and down. Uh, I think she's probably hungry at the moment, which is why she's... <laughs> she's it's amazing to see food. one so uh, up close. Yeah. Wow, this is, they a, this do is bite amazing. They don't they? Uh, it, I wouldn't put my hand in yeah. <laughs> no, I had a friend that got bitten by a turtle. Really? Uh -huh. She went out on a boat in Dalian and went swimming. And she, she, oh, she, she, she tried oh, to bad. Food. It was bad. It was no, very bad. I mean, yeah, because obviously, you know, a lot of the education, I mean, a lot of the problems are obviously there's waste, there's pollution, um, there's all of the uh, other types of infrastructure they've got to navigate around. Mm -hmm. But people don't know that they shouldn't mm -hmm. feed these animals by hand. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, that seems to be a, a, a miseducation that people don't know. I mean, when we got to Turkey, that was one of the things we were excited about, but to learn that this is a, a no-no. Right? Yeah, yeah. It was pointed out to us by some tourists that, so we've got signs up that say like, don't come too close, don't feed them by hand, don't snorkel with them. And in Dalian, in the town centre, the tall boats have got the same signs up, just without the red cross through them. Okay. A Hayal here could stay underwater for two or three hours wow. Wow. on a single breath. Hayal will be put into our deeper tanks outside 
with some live prey, so maybe a small crab uh, or a small fish. Um, and we'll make sure that she can locate and hunt live prey. Once she's once we know that she's able to do that, we have like a caged off area on the coast. Oh, oh that's fantastic. So it's getting the yeah, step so. by step. Yeah, step pretty. by step. You know, oh. she's been here for two years. Wow. So we don't when we release her, we don't want a yeah. hope that yeah. she's okay. We want to make we sure. No, that okay. that's amazing. They got good hearing, yeah. Um, so so. Mm -hmm. They're like I say, they're mainly visual hunters, so they locate their food by. Sight. She weighs about 50 kilos, she's not easy to move. So you can see, because Ladine's nicely positioned, I can't point to it very well, but the easiest way to tell the difference between the two species is the number of plates that they have on the side. So you'll be able to see it on your camera. Not that I can see it very well from here. So the loggerheads running down their side have one small at the front and then one, two, three, four, five mm -hmm. plates that run along the sides and they have three at the front. The green oh, yes. turtles only have one plate at the front and four running down the sides. Oh, okay. okay, so that's the, the, the, that's the, the easiest way to tell the difference. And how long, is that, how long has she been with you? She's been here for about a year. Okay. And if you look on the top of her head, you'll be able to see a tiny little dot. Oh yeah, we can see that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is where she had her surgery about a year ago. Okay. And now if you, if you compare it to Niles, this one here, he had his surgery about five months ago. And the injury on Niles to look at still looks really raw and really quite right. like it only happened like a week ago. But oh. again, it's because they have really slow metabolisms, so they grow so slowly. So the, so the scale, slow. yeah, and, and oh. healing underwater and, and all of that mm -hmm. is going to yeah be factored in. Yeah, yeah. very graceful in the water. On no. land, less so. Yes. <laughs> and, and are they like ordinary turtles in terms of do they hibernate and no, no, no they no. don't. They don't hibernate. So during the winter, the majority of them will cross down to North Africa. So when we release them, depending on what project is in play at the time, we'll put satellite tags onto the back of them. So if you go onto our website, you can see like live where a load of them are. Right. So I think we've got about twenty with tags on at the moment. That you can see, that you can see where they yeah. are. Yeah. And and that's and amazing. That's, really that's really amazing good. to hear. That's yeah. amazing, guys. So do these not have sun? These turtles? Do they not like the sun? While they no, they don't. They don't need to oh, bask. Right. So their internal temperature is controlled by the um, temperature of the seawater. Right. Okay. So yeah. like in here, we have to keep the we have little heaters. Yeah, that's that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah. Yeah. They don't need to be turned on at the moment because it's mm. warm enough. Yeah. Mm. And it, it may the best time to come to see the baby turtles. So the baby turtles won't come out until um, they, they start nesting in May and then nesting they're hatched May. about two months later. Okay. Um, the beach is closed yeah, at now. night yeah, yeah. to stop disturbance. Yeah. Um, people can come volunteer here if they want to help okay. during yeah, the nesting season. Nice. Okay. Um, and during the nesting season we'll often have hatchlings up here. Oh. Yeah. That's perfect. So I think we're going to have the details, but what is the name of your website? You just Google Deco. Google Deco. Yeah, Deco. And that is, that is all part of um, June. Captain June. Captain June. Read a little bit about. So she got the protection for this area. Which is right. fantastic. Wow. Yeah. Uh, we were set up by a professor, a sea turtle specialist, um, Pamakali University, which is about 100 or so kilometers north of here. Um, <laughs> So we obviously we work with the, the foundation. Yeah. Yeah. We're separate. She is still alive, actually, she, Captain Yeah, Jim? She's 99. They're not endangered, would you say? Is that a term that we can use for these guys? For the species uh, as a whole, um, the loggerheads are vulnerable and the green turtles are endangered. Okay. Globally. Right. In the Mediterranean, the situation isn't quite as bad as it is elsewhere in the world. In the world. Um, but still, the numbers aren't. They're dwindling, they're not, they're not increasing. Well, the numbers are increasing at the moment, but they're still way below historically what they should be. Mm. And why they increase at the moment, I guess that's probably due to Corona and the last couple of years of having she less human activity. Away. <laughs> yeah. it's, in the Mediterranean, it's probably most to do with the fact that there's loads and loads of universities. That are doing this type of yeah. work. Which <laughs> is kind of like, 
yeah. on one side that's good but on the other side the reason why there are so few in the Mediterranean is because there's so much human activity mm. here. Yeah. so like here this beach here last year we had 750 or so nests Wow. Okay. So this place was set up 13 years ago, but there's been conservation efforts and scientific research here for about 25. So for the past four or five years is when we started to see the numbers go up okay. because they grow so slowly. It's, yes, there's yes. like a 20 year time lag of between course. protection and then seeing and the results. Seeing the results, of course. How many eggs are produced and how many eggs will actually make it back to the sea? So normally? in an average nest, there's probably about a hundred eggs. It's about one in a thousand hatchlings oh survive. Oh, that's oh, wow. just and that's natural. So once they're about new eggs size, there's hardly anything left in the med that can... So maybe amazing. some of the bigger shark species okay. might be able to. Yeah. And maybe dolphins and killer whales would be able to, but then they're not this far over into the, into the east of the med. And he spends most of his time at the surface. The reason why we can't release Miles is because when he was hit on the head, he suffered nerve damage in his eyes. He's not blind, no. Um, he spends most of his time swimming towards the light. If we were to release him, he wouldn't be able to locate food. How far are we away from feeding time? <laughs> uh, I don't actually think any of them are getting fed today. Oh, okay. <laughs> but most of them eat once every two or three days. So like Haya, the big, the big one who was underwater, she eats about three, four hundred grams of fish every three okay. days. So it's a tiny amount. Yeah. I wouldn't be happy with it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're not doing much on a Saturday, <laughs> consider that. Yeah. <laughs> Good job you're not a turtle. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And we, we have to take the only less out of the tank to feed him, as I say. Because obviously... Yeah, because he can't locate his food. And um, they're very strong. It takes like my whole body weight to hold him down. Wow. Wow. Oh, this one. wow. Yeah. So it goes to at, show you. At what? Last, at last time of calculating, he's he's about four kilos. I'm about twenty five times that. But he's so and, strong. Yeah. And when yeah, the, so the other two, Ladine and Pamajak, have to be taken out of the water because if we put fish in there, it'd sink and they wouldn't be able to get yeah, to yeah. it. Those two are okay being handled. Niles does not like it whatsoever. Wow. His prey response kicks in, he thinks that we're trying to hunt him okay. and he really? flaps up a storm and then when he goes back into the water he just flies across and he wow. thrashes about like a madman for, yeah. Wow. So a, a, an adult can swim at about like 30, 40 kilometers an hour in a short burst. In a short burst. So Niles can probably do about 20, 25. So where do you put them when you feed them? Ladine and Pamajak are just put on, they're rested in a car tyre um, because it angles them upwards and Niles is put onto our operating table. We have to put a tube down their throat basically oh, to make sure that they're eating. Well listen little fella, I do hope you, uh, you recover and you know, your, uh, your nerve endings uh, definitely repair themselves. So good luck to you fella. So there are 21 nesting beaches in Turkey and they use the whole coast but we're the only rehabilitation centre. We have capacity for 29. Yeah, let's buy some stuff. Let's go support. Come, let's go support. It's just like a little info. Perfect. Really, really appreciate that. Thank really appreciate it. Much. Thank you oh, so much. Enjoyed. Thanks a lot. We really did. Very informative. So, and um, you know, we'll have feed uh, your just your, your website down in our description. What's your? It's called Waste and World. Waste and World. W A S O N. 
and then world. Yeah, we just we just started a month old, but hopefully, you know. Yeah, it sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy the rest of the day. Take care. Right, that was brilliant. So there we go. We had a lovely presentation by James. We'll put the website description down. Uh, website. That was fantastic. All of you guys. Thank you so much. here. So there we go, guys. We're back on um, the beach now. So, you know, once again, you can see people here enjoying their time. The lovely sea. Uh, Denise, Deniz in Turkish. Um, just look at the backdrop. Fantastic. So we just need a drink. Our mouth is so dry from uh, from what I'm talking. Coffee for me, higher. What do you call me? Mars. You're a bounty. <laughs> You're a bounty. What? A bounty. A bounty. Right, guys, we're gonna just stop, have this little tea break, and uh, um, we'll come back in a minute. Peace.